Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Kid Lit Joy, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to review a recent release picture book by Tony Armstrong, George the Wizard. This one has been illustrated by Emma Shan Bukers, and I apologise if I have mispronounced any of that. And this book was sent to me for review by Hachette, who reached out and asked if I was interested in reviewing it, and I'm always happy to review Australian picture books because it just makes my heart happy. And this one is a really gorgeous and fun story about friendship and embracing your inner self. The back of the book says George the wizard loves life on top of his mountain. He loves speeding around on his flying cloud, playing hide and seek with the animals and looking after his crystal gardens. The only thing missing from life on George's mountain is friends to share it all with. But does George have the courage to show others who he really is? An uplifting story about friendship and the rewards that come from being the real you from beloved TV personality Tony Armstrong with artwork by Emma Jean Bukers. So this is a gorgeous book and the first thing that I noticed about it is the one the illustrative style it is very cartoon like and I think there's something really whimsical about that but also the way that it uses text and font to create the story so in a lot of ways this reads like a graphic novel there's no panels or anything like that but uses big bold block letters I'll find another example on a page inside the book like here and it just creates something just a little bit different that you don't always get in a picture book so it does really feel like a fun whimsical magical kind of story a very different art style than i'm used to seeing in picture books at the moment which is also really cool and the story is really beautiful as well because george is a little bit anxious he, he loves his life he loves the things that he loves but he doesn't really have any friends and suddenly he finds someone who is willing to help him make new friends and he is a little bit apprehensive and nervous because what if they don't like him and that's a really common fear for a lot of people and especially a lot of children and this is about George embracing the things that he loves and the things that make him special and showing other people and them seeing him for who he is and wanting to be his friend and it's a really lovely story in that sense and of course all of this culminates with George helping to defend the village from a dragon and everyone seeing that he has some incredible talents and it was so fun and just adorable and I know this is one that will really captivate the attention and the imaginations of a lot of kids because it is magical and fun but it's also linked to something that is a very real concern that they have. So thank you very much to the publisher for sending me the review copy. I'm going to leave more information about the book, the author and the illustrator down below so if you'd like to find out more you can and I would love to know have you read George the Wizard? Are you planning on picking it up or do you have any recommendations for books that sound similar? Feel free to leave those down below. If you just want to let me know that you're here but you don't want to leave a comment feel free to leave a magic wand emoji down below otherwise I hope that wherever you are in the world you're staying safe and healthy and I will We'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.